Hello, I'm Belina Michaeloha, and welcome to Kumu Fats Views. I'm Kumu Leato, and I had a couple requests, and I've seen a lot of comments on the papahehi, right? And so the papahehi is that footboard that is used as a percussion instrument during a hula kahiko, and it was recently done on stage by Kumu Hula Mark Kelly Iho Omalu at the Merry Monarch Hula Festival for his wahine category. Um, what people are saying about the papahehi. Okay, so we'll take a look at the video. The first one is Kumuhula Napua Greg. This is not at the Mary Monarch stage, but this is their 2018 presentation or uh, that they did on the Mary Monarch stage with the Papahehi. Okay, so right off the bat, right, you notice they are keeping their one foot on the papahehi. Um, they also have some parts where they're alternating who's on the back and who's on the front. Uh, they are also chanting on their own. Kumu Napua did not chant at all in this presentation. This is not... Um, even close to what they presented on Murray Monarch in 2018 when they won. I believe they also won the overall award. But this is one example of the Papahehi. So the next example is actually on the Murray Monarch stage. I couldn't find um, Kumunapua's presentation, but I did find one from... 2012, it is Kumu Hula Kau'i Kamana'o and his Halau, their presentation of a papahehi. And it's from the side view. So you get to see, pay attention to their feet and how they use their papahehi. All right, so you know, right off the bat, we see Kumu Kaui on the stage with his Aumana with a Kalaau. He has the Loihi and the uh, Paalima one, right? So not the same as his Aumana, but that is his choice implement again, because normally a Papahehi is done as no Ho'opa'a, right? Or uh, just a Haumana with themselves. So his choice of the kala out to accompany his haumana uh, was unique in the sense that you see in the video that he'll be along with them throughout most of the melee. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry for pausing so much, but also the difference with their papahehe is that they have the pieces already attached. So it wasn't two uh, separate pieces. So if we go back a little bit, see, watch as they put it down. You're putting it down as one already. stop it there i'm not going to show the whole thing because it's like that through the whole um presentation right so let's let's talk about what we saw compared to what kumu mark presented right so we saw two halal different halal doing a papa hehi and i believe when kumu napur did it in 2018 it was a challenge for them it was their first time at the papa hehi and you know the difficulty level for the papa hehi in itself done stationary like this is also a very difficult thing to do it's not easy uh they both halal stayed stationary they used the kalaau and the haumana chanted on their own in this particular one in uh kamuela Kumukaui chanted with them, pulled back, chanted with them, pulled back. But he's also keeping a beat with them with his kalaau in the back of them, right? He's keeping that beat. He's overlooking his haumana uh, and he's with there. He, um, he's with them in the trenches right there, right, on the stage. So here's the thing about Papa Hehi. I've done, I didn't do extensive research, but I've done surface research and a little bit more to see, to talk about in this video, right? So, and I believe uh, Kumukoli from Maui also mentioned it, but there's no written rules on how the papahehe should be used. It is orally passed down and it is, and like everything in Hawaiian culture, everything is a lot of oral knowledge, pre-print um, or pre cacao right? Everything was a lot of oral knowledge. And this oral knowledge was passed down generation to generation. And this is what Poehula no. Poehula no, Papahehi, is done with the haumana chanting throughout the whole thing by themselves no in um accompaniment with a ipu heke throughout the whole mele it's with the kalaau or the choice implement because i've seen it done the papa hehi with i believe it was auntie hokulani before she passed away it was one of um the pre presentations that i really liked of the papa hehi i believe they used the kalaau lo ihi and the paalima right they did with the papa hehi and I believe I've seen it done, uh, the papahehi with the uli uli. 
and I like to say Ulili, but I don't think they use the Papa Hey Hey that year. They did Ulili, one of those groups. Anyway, whatever choice implement you get in your Lima with the Papa Hey Hey, there's no accompaniment by a Ho'opa'a. This is what is known by Po'ehula. So a lot of the discourse around, and it is really not discourse, it's just a lot of people looking at the entertainment value of what Kumu Mark brought to the stage. A, props and credit to him and the Homana because they took a Papa here. He did his interpretation because I know he did his research. And nowhere in the research where it said you have to do it this one certain way. Right? But we have to remember that Poehula are thought everything orally. And these Kumuhula know this. So there's the difference. If you guys want to really take a look at it, there, there's the difference. I'll post the the Kamuela clip in the comments. I'll post the uh, Naleka Makauka clip in the um, description too. But the difference between how Mark interpreted his Papahehe versus uh, Kumu Napua Gray who won that year she presented the Papa Hehi in 2018. And I believe Kamuela did not win with this presentation in 2012. So you can compare and see what it is that they do different. And I can tell you, Kumu Mark switched feet on the Papa Hehi. That is difficult to do, and that is not normally done. He stepped off of the Papa Hehi and went back onto the Papa Hehi. That is not normally done. And he was the ho'opa'a through the whole um, presentation. Yes, the haumana did chant back and forth with him, but he accompanied them with his ipuheke. That is not normally done. Are those things wrong? In the eyes of Po'ehula, who have learned and been teaching for years and years, that is what it's supposed to that is not what it was supposed to look like. On the flip side, I can attest to this. I did not find any written rules on how uh, Papa Hei should be done. You know, and there's really any written rule for any type of hula comes from each hula lineage and genealogy and all that stuff. And it can vary and differ from lineage to lineage so everybody's interpretation can be different from everybody else's interpretation that's the beauty of hula we have our right to interpret how we want to interpret we have every right to haku hula how everyone haku hula yeah but when we are being critiqued in front of a panel of judges who come from different lineages who have different point of views who have different preferences to what they expect, you will get what you get. You will get uh, results that you've seen. And everybody did such an amazing job at Mary Monarch. It's not an easy job to sit in those judges' seats because hey, I do my own judging at home every year or whenever I have. I've been lucky for the past couple of years. I've got to be home and watch it and give my own manao and judge and make my own scoring and say who in my mind when place what and what that's all for fun it's all my own opinion it's my preference do that do that and stick to that so you're gonna get mad <laughs> okay also be kind and come from a place of aloha when you critique when you put it out there and for those of you that's calling for a boycott of Mary Monarch, who's calling for the judges' heads and a change of judges. Trust me, when I was younger, and not in the mind of thinking of the big picture, I was like that too. But I've grown up. I've learned that, you know, back then I didn't come from a place of aloha and I was just thinking my thoughts is the only thoughts that should matter. No. Those judges belong there. They deserve to be there. They have the hula lineage and knowledge to be in those seats. And it's not easy for them either. It's not. So be kind. Don't boycott. 
If you're like, boy, can just no go and no watch and no say nothing. If you want to present your manao, come from a place of aloha because the discourse is just ugly. And I really appreciate Kumunapua's post when she came out and posted her manao. Kumukamaka Kukona, he posted and talked about how he was feeling. Um, also, the Academy, one of the Haumana, my friend's art, posted the Academy's thoughts on it. I believe that was Kumu Kekuhi who had this whole ex excerpt um, on Instagram that was shared by a lot of Poehula and uh, Kanaka Oivi sharing their thoughts. And it was all coming from a place of aloha. And it was all coming from a place of understanding what is our kuleana as Poehula, as Kanaka Oivi. Okay, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. I hope this video helped you guys understand a little bit more of Papa Hehi and you could see the differences between two different halals from Kumu Marks. And I'll put those links in there if you want to watch the full presentations. Other than that, please stay safe, stay healthy. Sorry, I said that already. Yeah? <laughs> I love each and every one of you. Aloha.